Yo, what's going on, people? Hopefully, you guys are on a fantastic day whenever you're seeing this recording. Uh, <laughs> I've had a lot of people request for me to make a video explaining how to go about setting up MetaTrader 4 on PC and actually how to link your MyFX book uh, to MetaTrader 4 on PC, right? So if you guys haven't already seen the video explaining how to set up MetaTrader 4, that's already on the channel. You should be able to find that, no problem. If you can't, just feel free to reach out to me and I'll be able to send it to you personally. Um, but today I want to get into kind of some of the benefits behind setting up your MyFX book and linking it to your trading account in terms of documentation and kind of how you're able to go about um, leveraging that and how to actually set it up, you know, the kind of the easiest way to go about doing that, right? So first things first, you know, we're going to go ahead and pull up uh, the browser of your choice, right? You're going to look up myfxbook.com. Right, and uh, there's a lot of different things that are offered with MyFX book, but you know, mostly what I like to use it for is the uh, tracking of trades. Now, I'm not gonna show you guys my personal account. I'll more or less just be walking you guys through the motions um, to provide some, some insight on how to go about setting this up. So if you don't have an account with them already, you're just gonna go to quick sign up right here, right? You're gonna go ahead, choose a, a username, an email, and a password, right? Type in the CAPTCHA letters and numbers, uh, agree to the terms of services, and then you're good to go. Now, once that's happened, they'll probably send you a confirmation email, right? Uh, and eventually you'll be able to come back to the website and you're just gonna go ahead and log in using uh, using, <laughs> using your, your information, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just log in right now and then I'll show you guys how to go about setting everything up right so here we are and i typed in the wrong password let's get it bruh forgotten e there we go all right sweet so now, now we're we're at the home page took me a minute to to get my password right but um we're out here and uh yeah basically what you're gonna want to do okay is you're gonna go ahead and continue to my fx book and the first thing you're going to want to go about doing to actually link your trading account to my fx book is go ahead over to portfolio and click add account All right, as soon as you do that it's going to bring you to this page and it's going to tell you you don't have any uh, accounts currently and you're just going to go ahead and click that add button to add a new one right so i'm going to hit add account now your platform you're basically going to go through here and choose uh which one of these you're going to go about using now if you're using metatrader 4 you're going to want to make sure you're choosing metatrader 4 publisher okay this is going to publish all the trades that you're taking on a regular basis so long as you um you know either have your metatrader 4 open on your pc or you open it once in a while it'll update all the trades that you've taken to the actual myfx book platform right so i'm going to click on metatrader 4 publisher Okay, uh, as soon as that's good, we're gonna go ahead, you're gonna choose your broker. So for this uh, tutorial, what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've set up, this is not a broker that I use too frequently, but I do have an account with them. They're called, you know, FX Choice. I'm not in any way affiliated with my FX book or FX Choices, more or less just for tutorial purposes. Um, but it's a, it's a $5,000 demo account, so we'll be able to mess around and take some trades so I can kind of just showcase some of the documentation benefits with my FX book, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and look for, you know, FX choice in here, right? There's a ton of different brokers. Odds are yours is probably um, going to be in here too, All right? So there's FX choice, I'm gonna choose that. Name, this honestly is up to you. You know, I can go ahead and just type in Don's trading account, just for example. Brief description, you know, that's up to you if you wanna, you know, type that in there um for a tutorial <laughs> right uh system type you're going to come down here this honestly i don't think it matters i always go with technical trading type this is going to be a manual trading account automated is like where you have artificial intelligence trading for you mixed is where you have kind of both but this is you know just going to be a manual one for demonstration purposes account type this is going to be a demo account if you have a real account you would just select real Right, and then leverage, you can choose what your leverage is for that specific account. The one that I've created is a one to 200 leverage. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that in there. We're gonna hit save, okay? Now, as soon as this happens, right, it's gonna bring you back to the accounts page under portfolio. You'll now see your trading account that you've set up. You have an account number, which not, you know, is not uh, by default going to show, and I'll explain as to the why that is in the second tier. 
you have your account name, the broker, last activity. You know, again, we don't have uh, the actual account linked to MetaTrader 4 yet, uh, but you'll see that there is this number right here under account and we'll see that it's private and currently pending connection. So it hasn't officially established that connection with your account yet. All right, so now that you've got the actual account created on the MyFXbook website, all you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is basically just copy this account number, all right? You're gonna copy that. You're gonna go to your, you know, MetaTrader 4 terminal, all right? So for this example, again, I'm using MyFX, uh, MyFX choice or FX choice. And what you're gonna do from the terminal, right, is go ahead and just look for the tools uh, tab over here. You're gonna go to options, click on that. Now I've already pasted the number in here. This is where you're gonna to wanna to actually paste the number in, right? And also this will most likely be blank on your end. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is type in ftp.myfxbook.com under the FTP server. Path is okay to just keep it blank. And then what you're gonna do is type in the actual password that you have uh, for your MyFXbook login. So the one that you just created here, you're gonna take that password and input it in here. Now, what I'm gonna do as well is intentionally put this in wrong, okay? And we'll come into you know explaining why I'm putting it in intentionally wrong right now. Make sure you're putting in your password correctly. Um, but in here, this, this will not be checked off. You're gonna click uh, enable automatic publishing of reports via FTP. Basically what that's going to do is any trade that you take on this you know, MetaTrader 4 account with this you know, box being checked will automatically publish to myfxbook.com for you, right? So documentation is made super, super simple that way. Uh, for the account section, so the number that I had in here before, where did I get that number? This is going to come directly from your broker, okay? So the account that we've made, this is a demo account. You'll notice that in the top left corner here, it has the number that is you know, designated for this specific account. So 315490 is the account number, okay? So once you have that in, every five minutes for refresh is, is perfectly fine. That's the smallest time frame that you can choose for that. This is all the information that you're going to need. Okay, make sure that you're on the FTP page in order to find this information. Um, and then you're just gonna go ahead and click test. Okay, it's gonna come up, it'll say report was successfully queued, look at journal for more information. Okay, so I'm gonna hit okay on both these windows. And now we're gonna transition down here, right? Looking at the, the bottom half of your MetaTrader 4 terminal, you're gonna go to journal and you'll see that it says publisher starting login or password incorrect and that it failed to connect right so this was because i intentionally put in my password incorrectly now usually it'll tell you what you've done wrong sometimes you won't be able to figure it out um, again just make sure that when you're in the tools page go to options right it'll usually start on server you're going to go over to ftp make sure that it's ftp.myfxbook.com Make sure that this FTP login is the same as this account number for the one that we just set up on the MyFXbook website. And make sure that your password is also correct. So in this case, right, all I'm gonna have to do is re-put in my password correctly, click test, and you guys will see that now, right, report was successfully queued, look at the journal, Notice how down here it now says publisher starting, publisher okay. That is what we wanna see. That's how we know that it has officially been linked to MyFX book. Um, and now we'll go back to the MyFX book webpage. We'll go back to the trade um, tab here and we'll, we'll kind of just mess around with this to, to show you guys some more things you can do. Um, but coming back to the website, all I'm gonna do is refresh the page. It might take a minute for it to actually go through. Um, you'll get a message in the activity section right up here. Right, and what we're seeing here is that the system for Don's trading account was added successfully. We can see that the connection is now active and the last activity was four hours ago when actually I haven't taken any trades on this demo account, so I'm not sure where that activity is coming from. But um, yeah, that's basically what you're gonna want to have. That's how you know that you've done this correctly. Again, if you don't, if you're having trouble uh, setting this up, you can either drop a comment, you know, message me personally, 
um, and we'll be able to, to work through that or just go back and rewatch some of what we've already gone over. Um, hopefully this has been easy to follow. Now, why my FX book, right? This is a question we maybe should have answered at the beginning of the video. Um, what's the advantage of having a MyFX book, you know, account connected to your MetaTrader 4? Well, if we come back to MetaTrader 4, and just for, you know, fun, we went ahead, we'll go to the hourly time frame. And I'm going to go ahead and just take a couple of, you know, trades, right? So, you know, let me go ahead and just enter a, a couple of positions, right? So we can choose, you know, the different charts. Again, if you guys are not familiar with the actual um, platform for, uh, you know, MetaTrader 4 on your computer, feel free to watch the other videos um, that I have posted. Um, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually pull up a Euro USD chart, right? It's going to be gross. I'm going to put on my template that I usually use. And what I'm going to do is go to trading, new order. And what I'm going to do is just, you know, not really worry about this a whole lot. This is just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to go to, you know, buy by market with a standard lot. Okay. Um, I'm also going to pull up a chart for AUD USD and do the same thing. This time I'm going to go for a sell, sell by market. Okay. All right, this is just a demo account, you guys. This is not real money, so this is more or less just again for demonstration purposes. Um, and then the last one we'll go to. Let's let's pull up, you know, GBP USD. Right here we have our, you know, last pair that we'll be looking at. So for fun, we're gonna drop a fifty lot. Actually, I don't even know if this is gonna work with five K, so we'll just drop a five lot. Right, and we'll go sell by market. Okay. So now I have three trades that are open. Again, I would not suggest trading like this. <laughs> please, please don't trade like this. Um, this is again, just for demonstration. But what we have here, right, three different positions that are open. Um, and what I'm going to do is close each and every single one of them out with a loss. Okay, I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions, right? Disclaimer, go ahead and do that. X, X, and X. Okay. Now my account balance, my equity went down around $150 from the trades that we had open there. Okay. Um, not a big deal. Again, this is demo money. So a little some light. <laughs> um, if we come back to the website though, right in the next few minutes, if we go to portfolio, click on Don's trading account, right? What we'll be able to see is in a little bit, this is going to update as to the trades that I've taken and the new account balance. So see how the balance, it hasn't updated yet, but it will in the next few minutes. It still says $5,000, right? Highest, you know, I just made the demo account today. So this is again, um, more or less just for, for demonstration. Um, but what we're gonna do is we'll just, you know, pause the, the or cut the, the recording um, to when this is actually updated and we'll go from there, you guys. All right, so we've come back and it's been a it's been a little bit of time, but now this is actually updated. And one thing you'll be able to to kind of see on the MyFX book website, right, is the overall net either gain or loss uh, on your account. So you know this being the demo account, five K demo account, we're currently down, you know, three point one one percent just from the trades that we you know took there. For example, uh, over time, this will be you know something that that changes in terms of growth in your actual equity. Um, but yeah, if we were to, to scroll down here, right, you know, we have periods. So today, this week, this month, this year, right, obviously, this is a, a <laughs> just a demonstration with the three trades. So there's not a whole lot of insight that's going to be provided in here. Um, you know, if we come down here, right, we've taken three trades on the demo so far, you know, we've lost all three. So this is entirely red, right? Um, if you know you were winning more than you were losing, then this would be like more green than red. If you were you know losing more than you're winning, then it'll be red more than green. Um, average win, you know, obviously this hasn't really changed given that we've only taken three trades. Average loss, you'll see how many pips on average and how much you know in terms of the monetary amount um, you're you know losing and then also winning from trades commissions. This is something that's documented as well. Um, but notice how you know you can come down here; it'll say monthly gain or uh, loss. You can also come here to summary, right? And summary is like one of my, um, you know, favorite things to, to look at because what you're able to do 
is you can actually you know go through and sort a bunch of uh, different things within the you know advanced statistics you guys can kind of just take some time to mess around with this um, in terms of pips you can order this from most to least you know whatever right percentage one uh, if you already have a trading account that you want to connect to this this is another thing that i didn't actually mention um, if you already have a trading account that you've been trading on and you connect it and it doesn't show all of your trades all you're going to do is go back to the terminal you're going to go to account history right you're going to right click it and then you're going to go all history then every single one of the trades that you've ever taken will be documented and shown on the myfx book uh account that you've you know now set up so that'll show every single trade that you've ever taken you'll be able to go through and actually see you know which trades are you winning uh the most depending on the currency pair right one thing that's really important when we're trading is to identify you know what works and what doesn't right one of the ways that you can go about identifying what currency pairs to focus on is you know based on the amount of losses or wins that you have uh, for certain currencies right so if i'm more profitable on gp usd well then maybe i should stick to trading that over say AUD usd All right so food for thought something to really just take into consideration there's a ton that you guys are able to do um, and kind of just keep up to, to date with with the portfolio part of my FX book. Uh, you can also get to the position size calculator on here as well, which, you know, that's something that I'm sure you guys are familiar with. But if you're, if you're not, you can just type in um, Forex position size calculator and it'll come up for you here on my FX book as well. Um, I believe that's everything that I wanted to go over in today's video. Another thing too, in order for these trades to be updated in your my FX book, you're going to want to open the actual MetaTrader 4 terminal on your desktop, uh, you know, once a week. And then whenever this is open, it will update every, you know, five minutes. Um, so if you want to keep it open for the whole week, you know, by all means, if you want to open, open it once a day to update the journal, you know, that's something that you can do. If you want to open it bi-weekly, monthly, whatever the case may be, um, this is a super, super handy tool. So uh, look into it, right? Um, do some of your own research as well. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop it in the, the comments or uh, reach out to me personally. But um, with that being said, you guys, I'm going to wrap the video up right here. Appreciate y'all's time and we'll talk soon. Peace out.